coming up on the shelf here right now, and we, we had our downrigger set down around 30 feet, and because of our setback, anytime you make a turn, your lines can drop. And so we want to make sure we keep out of the weeds and just above these fish here in the strike zone. So right now we're in 26 feet of water, and I brought my downrigger up to 20 feet, and you can see it on the graph right here as we're coming up this shelf. We hit the shelf, brought him up just a little bit, keeping our gear about a foot or two off the bottom. Just need to find some mackinac that want to play. What I'm putting on my downrigger over here is an eight inch fish flash. This one here is called Pawn Shop. It's one of my favorites on cloudy days like this and at low light. And then I got a little leader here, pretty short, about 30 inches. And this is 25 pound maximum ultra green down to a triple hook rig, a blue label herring, glow in the dark spin glow, and a little bit of scent. Do my setback here, setback I'm doing about 60 feet. And clip it on the downrigger and keeping it just about four or five feet off the bottom. So right now our spread, we have two lead lines out, one with a broken back silver scale U20, one with that uh, perch pattern U20. And on these two rods here, I got a flasher and a herring on this rod, and it is down pretty close to the bottom, about five, 10 feet off the bottom. We're marking a lot of fish in that 60 to 80 foot range. So Todd has his downrigger rod down with a T50 flatfish in that same perch color. So we're running just about everything. Yeah, that fish came up and looked at it too and just wouldn't chew. But we're running every depth, every part of the water column, two rods digging in the dirt, one about 10, 15 feet off the bottom, one in the middle of the water column. Now, most importantly is our setback off of these downriggers. We have very short setbacks. We've already proven that these fish are not shy of the downrigger ball. They actually are curious, so they'll come up and look. So we're able to bring our line real close to the downrigger ball. I think I'm running a 10 foot setback on this one and maybe 15 or 20 on this one. And that helps us when we make our turns, those lines won't tangle up into each other. So we can keep them pretty tight to the corner of the boat. And we need to keep them tight to the corner of the boat because of our lead lines. So our lead lines here, we have them on 10 and a half foot long rods sticking straight out the side to try and get as much distance away from each other as possible. But what this is doing is allowing us to fish way back behind the boat and tight to the bottom with those lead lines. And then these two rods are fishing just off the bottom and covering more of the water column. And we can really control them because we have short setbacks. So that's our setup between rod reel line on the downriggers and the lead lines. <laughs>